In May 2025, FluMiner released a new home miner based on the script algorithm, the FluMiner L2. And it comes with 1.2 GHz at the power consumption of 280 watts. And what is unusual about this device is that it can also function as a speaker. Such a creative idea. So in this video, I will take you through a comprehensive review of this device. So don't forget to hit the like button before you're watching. And you see on the official website, the FluMiner L2 looks like this. But in reality, it's quite different. This is its actual appearance. And personally, I think it's even better than the picture, no? And uh, as you can see, it's designed to resemble a speaker. And it even gives off the vibe of a um, high-end, expensive speaker, yeah? But then again, with a price tag of $800, it's essentially an expensive speaker. Overall, the design is very, very luxurious. And uh, you see the side and the bottom are wrapped in this uh, brown PU leather with four small support on the bottom. The golden section here is the front of this miner, and which also served as the miner's air intake. I have to say the combination of gold and brown looks really elegant and premium. And also here is the flu miner's logo. And moving to the back, which is quite interesting, and uh, you can easily see the Ethernet and the power cable connect, which is also the machine's uh, exhaust vent. So when you're running this machine or listening to music, it's best not to place this machine too close to the wall, you know, to ensure uh, proper airflow. Okay, I'm getting off the track. Anyway, here is the power port. Here is the power switch bottom. Here's the Ethernet port. Here is the Wi-Fi signal booster. And here is the IP reporter. There is a Wi-Fi signal booster, so that means this uh, FluMiner L2 supports wireless mining. And uh, so this little speaker can be placed in your home to mine independently. And later we will check its uh, noise and the temperature performance to see if it's truly suitable as a home miner. But uh, right now let me tell you how big and how weight of this thing is. Okay, I just measured it and it's about uh, 32 centimeters long and uh, 16 centimeters tall, also uh, 16 centimeters wide. So it's kind of a um, minimum size you can put in anywhere, I feel like. You can put it on your computer desk, uh, on your fridge, in your dining room, whatever. And as you can see, the weight of this thing is about 4.4 kg. I mean, it's a little bit heavier than the usual speaker. I mean, after all, it's, it's also a minor, you know. There's also the heat sinks, fans, uh, motherboard, computing cars, all in this little speaker. And finally, let me show you how to set this thing up. Okay, let's get to mining. And first, we will need this IP scanner to find its IP address and then copy it into the browser to access the FluMiner control panel. And you need to enter the uh, username and the password, and both are root, R-O-O-T. And once logged in, go to the pool settings on the left and uh, the mining pool address and the wallet address. And you can fill in all three slots. So if one fails, it will automatically switch to the next one. And after all that, check the dashboard. So if you see hash rate, that means it's running. And of course, we will run it for a while to see how the how the average hash rate performance. Okay, and uh, next go to the Wi-Fi setting on the left and uh, connect it to your home Wi-Fi. And once connected, you can unplug the Ethernet cable and place the device anywhere in your home, living room, kitchen, or bedroom, you know, whenever you want. And uh, while enjoying music and earning rewards. And you just need to simply connect to the Bluetooth device named FL88 on your phone and then you will have this say people come say people go 
Interestingly, it not only has the volume controls, but also treble and the bass adjustment. And also LED indicators, a power button, and track controls. And also the white key caps really complement the design, right? It's both function and stylish. And now let's test the noise and the temperature of this miner, you know, uh, since it meant to be placed at your home as a speaker and also miner, so the noise and the temperature are crucial. Okay, and as you can see, it's around 59 dB, and uh, which is, isn't completely silent, although it's a low power 280 watt machine it's still a minor this noise level is actually similar to running computer so i think it's perfectly acceptable and as for the temperature i will just check the hardest part which is the exhaust vent and uh, let's do it and as you can see it reaches to 39 degrees and my machine here actually has been running for about five hours so i think this temperature is also acceptable as long as the room isn't uh, extremely small i don't think this device will significantly affect your room temperature you know but speaking of the temperature i have an interesting question is at what high temperature will the flu miner throttle or shut down yeah, that's a good question and I think only an experiment can tell. So you see I already put the Flumaner L2 inside this big heater and uh, I'll close the door and uh, heat this thing up and to see at what exact temperature the hash rate will be dropping or shut down. And you see the inside temperature now is reached to 30 degrees and uh, the Flumaner L2 is running normal at 1 giga hash. The fan speed is at 1700 RMP. So let's keep heating up and see how it performs. And I think under the normal conditions, the Flumaner L2's chip temperature is around 63 degrees and the fan speed is actually at uh, 2000 RPM or something. But now it's just to start running. So let's see at uh, the high temperature to see how those numbers achieves. Okay, and you see the chip temperature is already 63 degrees and uh, the fan speed is coming to 2000 rpm yes and uh, the temperature inside right now is 35 degrees and uh, actually the l2 is still running normal okay you see i've had it running for like five minutes and the temperature inside right now is 40 degrees and also the chip temperature is already reached to 70 degrees but uh, you can see the hash rate is, no, is still not that much dropping so the L2 for now is still operating normal and you see because of the high heat the hash rate is rising up actually to it was like 1.77 degrees uh, uh, 77 uh, giga hash Okay, and as you can see, when the, 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 when the room temperature reaches to 51 degrees and I see the hash rate is kind of dropping and uh, let's see if it's really throttling. And the chip temperature now is 74 degrees and that's crazy. I don't think it was a dropping, you see the hash rate is still 
operating normal. Okay, so now I'm going to heat it up again. Oh, actually, it shut it down. <laughs> so when the temperature, when it was like uh, 51 degrees inside of the room temperature, the flu miner L2 shut it down. I think that's very impressive. You know, I've tested all those machines and uh, when it comes uh, 51 degrees, even those big power consumption uh, miners won't handle it. But uh, flu miner L2, you know, lasted to now. So that's very impressive. Okay, and uh, now is the tearing down part. So right now I'm gonna tearing down the flu miner L2 to pieces and I uh, wish I don't break it, yeah. And uh, here we go. Okay, and uh, you see here is the fan, and uh, this is the heat sinks, and I can tell there are two, so that means there is one computing car. Okay, and uh, here you go. You know, at first I thought, uh, flu miner L2, L2's structure will be very very complicated you know because I never ever uh, teared down a miner with a speaker in it you know but for now I think it's kind of clear and easy you know so there are two parts right there here's the part here is the part and here is just for the speaker and you can see it's connect to the motherboard over here where, where you control the volume and everything. So this motherboard is for speaker. And uh, as it, for mining, it's just all in this space. And I put it all there. So there you see, this whole thing was just in this space. And here is just only for the speaker. So it's very clear. And right there, you have everything. You see, you have the fans and you have the heat sinks and in the middle of between the heat sinks there is one computing cards and there are all the chips there and uh, here this thing is actually the power supply <laughs> can you believe it and also here the motherboard for controlling the mining side so yeah right there it's very very clear and easy this is very genius actually you know and actually when it comes to simple and easy it's always be the hardest job you know so shout out to flu miner i think they did very very good job i think we've been uh, captivated by the flu miner 2's uh, design and the uh, speaker functionality and now let's talk about its uh, efficiency as a ASIC miner and its profitability. So as you can see, I've had it running for like 17 hours now and uh, the rejection rate is normal. The chip temperature is stable at uh, 63 degrees and the fan speed is around 2000 RPM. So all within acceptable ranges. And also the most important part, the average hash rate which is currently at 1.03 giga hash. And you might ask, wait, wasn't it supposed to be like a uh, 1.2 giga hash? Well, here's the thing, yeah. This is an early sample unit provided by uh, Fluminer, an older one giga hash version. And uh, they've confirmed that all retail L2 units shipped to customers will be the 1.2 giga hash model. But for now, let's assume this a one giga hash version here. Yeah? And at this rate, it mines roughly five coin, five dot coins and uh, 0.00138 Litecoins uh, and also some other cryptocurrencies. And uh, based on current um, coin prices at the time of recording, the Fluminer L2 generates about $1.5 per day. And uh, translating to $45 
per month. And uh, with an 800 price tag, the payback period of Fluminer L2 will be around 18 months. But however, this number is really depends on the coin prices. And uh, also, this is not just a miner. It's also a high quality and good looking speaker as well, right? And uh, what makes the Fluminer L2 truly special is how it bridges two words, mining and uh, audio. And no other brands has attempted this fusion. And let alone with such a sleek premium design. And for that alone, it's already a compelling product. And while Fluminer isn't the oldest brand in the space, their track records speaks for themselves. The Fluminer L1 and uh, Fluminer L1 Pro they delivered strong performance and uh, solid sales. So how do you think of the Fluminer L2? How do you think is a uh, performance, the looking, the efficiency? Would you buy it? And uh, let me know in the comment. Also, if you need anything from the world of mining, visit jingomining.com. And uh, I am Ethan, I'll see you next time.